The National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, says it has developed a short code, 6472, for reporting complaints bordering on sexual and gender-based violence. Executive Secretary of the Commission, Tony Odruko san announced this in Abuja at the high-level multi-agency tax team program for accessing the extent of implementation of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. According to him, the court will be operational from April 1, 2022. With the support of the Office of the Vice President and the, and the UNDP, we have been able to get a short code, which is 6472. Now, the technical, uh, our technical partners um, are working on this to make it operational, and we've been informed that it will become operational on 1st of April. According to Odruko, most sexual and gender-based violence cases were caused by poverty and unemployment. The panel we considered on SDBV has gone around the city geopolitical zones and it was a huge success. Um, during the exercise, we were able to deal with cases of SDBV, we were able to um, um, offer some empowerment because we we, we understood from some of the stories uh, around the table that poverty issues, employment issues, were at the root of um, the sexual and gender-based violence uh, that was committed uh, along the line. Mr. Titus Amariju, an assistant director in NAPTEP, in his PowerPoint presentation, said six states had sent data on sexual offenses. We have over 25. Well, almost, almost, almost 30 now that have actually passed or assented the, the VAB Act into law. But we have just about seven states that have actually uh, joined the uh, Nigeria Sexual Offenders Register. So that is why uh, just let me bring this up all to see and know what, what do we do to actually encourage uh, other states to onboard on the system. Former President Goodluck Jonathan, on May 25, 2015, assented to the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. The event was attended by representatives of the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, Nigeria Correctional Service, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, National Bureau of Statistics, and civil society groups, among others.